Now when the painters show up, the system's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> I gotta talk to you in a second. <laughs> Here, I'd love to talk to you real quick. Oh, yeah, awesome. I'm with the Associated Press. Thank you for talking to me. Tell me a little bit about, um, let me get some better audio. Tell me a little bit about painters and politics, painters and protest, I guess. Well, artists have to be on the front lines against fascism. I mean, fascism is against art. So it's like if you're an artist and that's your true vocation in life, it, it, you're diametrically opposed to fascistic stuff. You know, it's just, it's like, if you if an artist isn't offended by the Trump era, then I don't know what kind of, it's like a different thing. You know, there might be some propagandists or something who are, uh, you know, into it, but, you know, and also we're Portlanders. It's like, this is our city, you know, this is the city that is kind to artists and, and, and uh, has a strong community. So, you know, an attack on us is an attack on our whole town and our whole culture. So we got to come out. Plus, it helps people to see artists because it reminds them that we're on the side that has art. We're on the side that has music, dancing, free food, friendships, community-based organizing. And they're just like sent by this abject liar. You know what I mean? Like, I'm mean, talking about the feds. If they're gone, you know, whatever. But that's who they were sent by. For a campaign stunt to bust our city's heads, that's just, that's just ridiculous. So it just offends on so many levels, you know. So that's why, that's why I'm out here. What's your name, your full name? Jason Traeger. Spell that. T-R-A-E-G-E-R. Spell Jason, J-A-S-O-N. How old are you? 52 years old. Where are you from? Portland, Oregon. Thank you, sir. That was great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Story about some painters that have set up outside of the courthouse. Me too. I'm like, what the hell? 
They'll put it back. I keep yeah. trying to make it feel better. Right, yeah, 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 they'll okay, put it okay. back. It'll yeah, that's it. Oh, it's been doing My girlfriend was like, it's out. Uh... <laughs> like, that's really think... good. But thank you. I usually do oil paint, so I'm, I'm uh, yeah, watercolor is harder to manage, but it's fun to plant paint outside. Are you selling these? Oh, yeah, I think we're going to do some kind of a benefit, probably. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sort of put them together. Do you have, like, a... If you go to hashtag wall of, wall of, wall of, uh... Wall of art, is it artists or painters? Wall of, what is it, wall of painters or wall of artists? Um, wall of artists. Wall of artists. So you'll see that hashtag a lot after tonight, and then, yeah, you'll see who we all are. And stuff. Okay, yeah. very good. Can I ask you guys a couple questions about the Associated Press? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about artists and protests? How important is it that artists get involved? I think that it's absolutely imperative that they be involved because artists record the the cultural history of now for later. And yeah. what, what do you think about the artists being involved? I, I like that <clears throat> I like that they have a different perspective maybe a little bit. Um, kind of a nuanced perspective. They kind of focus on a certain thing and I don't know. I, I, I appreciate the artwork. I really do. What's your name, ma'am? Stephanie. Stephanie what? Jackson. Uh, spell, spell Jackson. J A C K S O N. How old are you? Where are you from? I am 52 from Portland, yeah, Oregon. Great. And you met with the first name, last name, whatever you want to give me. Uh, first name Christine. Spell I'm from that? Port uh, C H R I S T I N E. Yeah. I'm born and raised in Portland. How old? 56. Great. Thank you guys. Are you Thank related you so much. in any way? Yeah, sisters. sisters. You guys are sisters. Yeah. Yes. Um, is this like uh, the sisters coming to the protest tonight or talk about sisters? Yeah, our kids are here too. It's a family affair. We our got, whole family We got here. the kids, the the significant others, the Cousins, sisters. Yeah. Everybody's here. This is instead of that summer barbecue, it's the summer demonstration. It's the, but you get that atmosphere down here that it's it's familial. It's Everybody who's from Portland is kind of a big family when it comes to standing up for ourselves and our rights and so you get that feeling down here that everybody knows everybody it's nice thank you guys you're welcome thank you oh here thank comes the family now come on guys yeah. What? Um, so, did you force your mom to come, or uh... <laughs> she's the one that encouraged us? Really? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, I've been out of town for a long time, and she's like, "You got to come back to Portland. You got to come to the protest. You got to come." So now here we are. What are you thinking about it? What? What are you thinking about the protest? Um, loving it so far. I wish it was a little bit more louder and it looks like we're getting a little bit a little bit of action here and I'm getting really excited about it. I'm really excited to lose my voice tonight, you know. Do you think change will ever happen in the black community if so when? Um, I think that it'll change. I think that it'll definitely take time. I'm not sure exactly when that is, you know. I can't pull out my tarot cards and read the future or anything like that. Um, I am hoping that it's relatively soon. And I'm really hoping that just like everybody just really accepts everybody and is really included. Inclusivity is what I'm searching for, so <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What is your name, first name? Bella. B, spell it. B-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. How old are you? Um, yeah, I'm 21. 21. Is your name? I'm Britton. B-R-I-T-A-I-N. And I'm 19. Great. And um, why'd you come today? You know, show support for the black movement. Great. What's your name? Mikey. Thank you. Thank you, Mikey. That's great. All right, guys. I'm going to get a shot of you and your mom. Your family. I know, because it's great. We're good at the cause, you know. No, you're a genius. No, you're a genius. I mean, I don't know you. I just met you. But, you, know, you don't know me that well, you know. I can see what you got going on here. You're a genius. Did you talk to the man? I did. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys. That was great. Yeah, yeah, I saw you had a poster, yes.
So you set this up. Talk Wait. to me. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah. I, uh, I've i been down here painting. I'm doing plein air painting, oil painting for the last two about two weeks. Um, this is kind of my way to peacefully protest. I mean, this is a very passive, sensitive thing that I'm doing. I'm no threat. Um, and uh, I just wanted to get a, a wall of artists, a wall of painters to document this. Um, do you stand here when the feds are gassing everybody and put up with it? Do you wear a gas mask? Okay? Um, I did on, uh, so I got gas for the first time on Friday. It was July, July 25th. What were you painting at the time? I was underneath that tree over there, right on the corner on um, 3rd Street. And I was just painting the crowd. It was the biggest crowd that we've had down here for a while. It was three, 4,000 people. Um, a lot of moms, a lot of dads. So I thought, you know, they're not going to unleash gas on this many people. Um, so I was doing just a scene of the crowd with the courthouse vandalized in the background with the, the march that was going by, painting very quick. And then at about 11.05 p.m., you know, there's like 20-some yahoos shaking the fence, doing the thing. And then they unload four, five, six rounds of gas. Um, that was my first time being tear gas at a protest. It was my first time being tear gas while painting. Um, so thank you, government. <laughs> Approximately an hour ago, the show came out. What a time out today. Found by the Captain Bobo, the Scouts with the Navy Scouts with the Navy.
great. He was pure gas ball painter. I'm going to get some exteriors of the courthouse now with signage.
Can I talk to the kids? Completed all the setup shots for all those guys. I think I should come down just after the top of the hour, maybe nine ten now. You should have two stories coming at the first. I can hear your audio. 
Can I talk to you? Make sure. We're talking about, well, continue what you were saying. In regards to? You're talking about... There, uh, I, I think that, oh, that the Trump, uh, narrative of yes. Antifa, well, anarchists trying to throw over, capable of trying to overthrow the government, sells, spying on journalists. Uh, your reaction, who have you seen? Well, um, in terms of who I've seen, I mean, I've seen feds, I've seen state, state patrol, but, you know, I think that in, uh, the overall, um, message is, um, that Trump needs to be aware of is that he overplayed his hand. He didn't understand that it's not as if that there's a t there's a bunch of terror cells that are in, you know quote unquote Antifa or whatever running around, you know. But there are a lot of people that that um, um, that uh, they agree, they align with their politics, they align with their view, you know, their viewpoint. It's not as if they're terrorists. It's as if they they stand up for liberal ideals. So. Um, I think that Trump just didn't understand how much of a stronghold this area was for the Antifa mindset. I'm not a member of Antifa, but I'm out here supporting. What organized stuff have you seen, do you think? I mean, people in the South, or not in the South, some people read things on the internet and think good people are being paid to protest. No. Talk to me about what you, how long have you been out here and what you've seen. I was born in Portland in 1990. I mean, it, I, I, there's been nothing that I've heard of of any paid protesters or anything like that. This is all organic. Most of the arrests here are from local citizens. Why is that, do you think? Why are, the narrative goes out a little different than the actuality. Well, because that's a, that's a convenient excuse, paid protesters. I mean, you know, that's been used for both sides, liberal and Republican. But when it comes down to it, I mean... You're going to see more and more people that obviously are not paid. Who has the money to pay all these people out here? You know? Wait, what's your name? First name, second, last name, whatever you want to give us. Steven. S T E B E N. How old are you? 30. Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much. Thank you. When you see people throwing things, when you see people, when you see destruction, when you see vandalism, all this stuff, you know, I don't know who, who a lot of these people are affiliated with. You know, it's hard with the mask in the first place, you know, but um, there's definitely uh, a hint, an element of, you know, probably 75% of the people I've met here are from out of state. You know, they're from all the way, I've met people all the way from the East Coast, so, you know. I don't, you know, I can't say that they're being paid or not, but I think that there's an element of uh, people who, you know, might align politically with the viewpoints of the Northwest. You know, they're this is kind of a rallying cry, and they're they're using this as, you know, their flag in the ground. Were you hurt at all? I've been gassed, but I wasn't hurt. That's not gonna hurt me. It's going to take a lot more than gas to hurt true Portlanders, true, true Northwesterners. We're, Thank you, bro. Yep. I'm with the Associated Press. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Al. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Yes. What do you do? Anyone think you did for black people? <laughs>
the top guys, give you four D. I'm gonna be associated in front. Stop, Take a break at 9, 10, 10, state battery with a larger truck.
give you time to take on. Talk about the and for all my little kids here, 
Um, apologize for my false slander. Uh, forgive me for that. That was totally disrespectful to y'all parents that have y'all kids out here. But you understand, I'm a little angry right now. Just a little bit. But you know what? It's good anger. It's the right kind of aggression. Because it's founded in love. And it's been paid by the people that the foundation was built by those who came before us. And it's on us. The torch has been passed. Who's ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? We all ready. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! So, today, it just got released on the news. We're going to give it up for a gentleman. His name is Lionel Morris. This gentleman died before our other fallen brothers, Mr. Floyd, and even before the beautiful Miss Breonna Taylor. He is a black man in Arkansas, shoplifting, starving, broke, no money, because the government ain't giving us what we worked for, what we earned. $600? Really? Really, Mr. Trump? $600? So as we are all gathered here right now, there are people being evicted, threw out on the streets. No money, nothing. It's the system, y'all. It's just the system. Mm -hmm. The system is still running. But no more. No more. No more. No more. No more. We the Let's people. Let's we the people. Know. We the people. 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 We the people.
motherfucker. This is my brother. It's the second interview. So, uh...